What do we do when we're upset? Well, I personally am sharing with you how, what I do when I'm emotionally upset either about events outside of my control or those things that are inside that I realize I have no control over, which is just about everything except what I myself choose to do with my life. So a lot has been happening since we last met at our We Are One Love special Friday ritual. And here it is after we've had the tumultuous events in our nation's capital, after we've had um, a challenge to the very core of our beliefs. And I don't know about you, but I've got some of those things happening in my own personal life as well, with relationships, with work, with my health even. So today I'd like to share with you and invent with you because each time that we do this is a new thing. It's not a script. It's not a step-by-step. -step. A ritual means that we are doing a purposeful shift from ordinary consciousness into the sacred. We are attempting to bring some divinity to this crazy mixed up world we live in. And what better way to do it than by enacting a ritual, which means that we are more focused on intention than usual. So as usual, let's begin with the breath. Always a good way to begin rather than talking so much yap. Everybody yaps. We don't need so much yap. We need to remove the yap and get into our heart. Take ourselves out of our heads and bring ourselves into this big heart that contains all the love, all the compassion, all the understanding, enough for you and me and all of humanity, each one of us. We go into our own heart by focusing on the breath. Breathing in through the nose, always the nose, deeply, slowly, and breathing out through the nose. At your own pace, breathing in and breathing out. Feel the shift. Feel like we're changing gears. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. We have to take time for ourselves, especially when there's chaos going on. We have to go to this quiet place within ourselves as much and as often as we can, as we need, to feel balanced. To feel that the events going on around us are not who we are. That is not who we are. We are that place of stillness. We are that place that goes beyond anything imaginable, really. It's hard to describe in words, so that's why we let the breath show us. So just let go of thoughts as they try to come into your mind. Just on a windy day, you can hear the wind outside. It's blowing my bamboos. I grow bamboos. And there's a plane. And we might even hear a siren off in the distance or a dog barking. Just as we hear all those interruptions, to this quietness that we're cultivating. We don't have to pay attention to those interruptions. We can acknowledge that they exist. I hear the plane dissipating. I hear it going away. I hear the wind in the trees. And instead of disturbing me, I say, ah, 
I'm just watching it. And it too just dissolves as we go deeper and deeper into our true self, our true nature as human beings. We are pure consciousness when we let go of all the thinking, all the rattling, all the judging, all the this and that, and opinions, and trying to figure it out. Just, this is not the time for that. There's plenty of other time, I'm sure, that you get into that. This is a time of going to a place of stillness that is our spiritual core that we are all born with and we all die with. And whether or not we are actively involved with our spiritual core is up to us. How much and how little is totally up to you. I myself, I'm a spiritual junkie and also a spiritual activist, so this is my go-to place. Instead of going with a bunch of friends and discussing how horrible things are, I go to the place of stillness and realize that everything, whether it's good or bad or however we label it, is a stepping stone to and through the river of life that we are on together. This journey of life that is very short, (laughs) very short. At the last moments of your existence here, you will realize, as I have when I've been with my loved ones who have passed over to the other side, this life is very short. So let's make of it what we choose to. And I choose to focus on possibilities and positives. And when disrupting things happen, not just with the political situation that happened this last week, yes, that was horrific, there's no doubt about it, but it's not going to ruin my life because of other people's choosing to act out. What I had to figure out this morning, and maybe you can relate to as you continue breathing and getting quiet and seeing how this relates to your own life, was some disturbing things going on in my own personal life, my own personal family, how I had to let go once again of wanting things my way, And sometimes things are just not going our way. And that doesn't mean that they're bad. That means that we have to witness and we have to watch and we have to accept what is going on when other people choose to do what they do or the weather or the stock market or insurrectionists and domestic terrorists and all sorts of things that are interfering with our serenity. Now that doesn't mean we condone them. That doesn't mean that we're saying, oh, because we accept that it happens. That does not mean that we approve. Accepting that something happens means that we don't have resistance to what is. We accept what is. And like the serenity prayer says, we can choose to either have the courage to change something or the serenity to accept what it is, whatever it is. And therefore, we have that wisdom within us. An español. La oración, la serenidad es Dios me da la serenidad para aceptar las cosas que no puedo cambiar y las que cambiar y la sabiduría para reconocer la diferencia. I speak Spanish just a little bit, but it feels so good 
to say a prayer in other languages, a prayer of protection, a prayer of wisdom. God, the divine, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to accept, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This is a beautiful way of looking at all of life. And it's, it's like a rescue boat, the serenity prayer. When you're disturbed, this serenity prayer, which I use as a life raft, I just keep repeating it when I'm disturbed. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. So right now, right this moment, right here, you and I are exercising our wisdom to go within and to be peaceful, even in the middle of a national chaotic time or a personal chaotic time like I myself am going through. I have a big health thing coming up, a procedure that I'm kind of scared about. You might have also things that you're scared about. Those uh, checks coming from the government, are they enough to even buy groceries or to pay back rent? I don't think so. Many of us are in distress, but many of us are reaching out to help, whether through whatever financial means we can or sending our prayers, our intentions of love and healing to the world. So let's do that for a moment. Let's just send our energy that we're focusing on here and pretend that it's a big, huge ball of golden light, this energy that we've created with our consciousness in our heart. It's not just an image coming from our brain. We have connected with our heart. The two are sending out love that's healing energy to the entire world, Gaia, bring healing to Gaia, bring healing to the toxic environment, to the troubled people, to the disturbed individuals who want to create turmoil in society instead of just letting peaceful resolutions arise from those who are in charge. Send our healing energy to this world, whether it's in our own family, or it's to a nation in chaos, or if it's to things that we don't even know about, things we can't articulate. A golden, a golden aura of loving, creative, energy of healing surrounds all of us. Feel it. Sense it. Feel its sparklingness, the sparkling goldenness of divine, sacred energy in this mundane world. It's here because we are sending our combined intention from our mind, our consciousness, connected with our beautiful, compassionate heart. This is the power of ritual. This is the power that all of us have within us. We can heal this world. We are healing this world, one breath at a time. Om Namah Shabaya.